I am super excited to share with you a little bit about the Priestess of Rhiannon first year training that is starting again in person after all this time, both in Glastonbury, Avalon in the UK, and in Italy, in Turin and Palma. We probably will split the training there between the different places where uh, people can easily get to us. It is always a joy to share with wonderful sisters these teachings, these deep teachings. I call them uh, tantras because they are a, a deep intimate teaching of the goddess in our times. And working with Rian and Nipona as great goddess of love, we are really diving into the reclaiming of sacred sexuality and what it means to be a priestess of love, a priestess in dedication to goddess, that soul path that calls us, that has this amazing uh, magnetism to it really as a, a longing to return to a better way of being as human beings. So to do so within the path of love that the teachings of Rian and Ipona bring us is really to do this work within ourselves first, to work with all the places in ourselves that would stop us being love in action, all the parts of ourselves that need to be retrieved, found, brought back home to the heart, loved back into integration. So Rhiannon's Wheel of Initiation, which is resting on the Avalonian tradition of the Goddess Wheel of the Year, is really a journey through nine houses of initiation that rests in the ancient blood mysteries, the rites of passages of our indigenous um, spirituality of our ancestors of Europe. And so we are working with new ways of looking at the archetypes of these houses of initiation that Rhiannon has brought through, through both her mythology and her living work as um, those of us who are her priestesses and priests and how she manifests through the seasons and the changes in our lives. So the wheel of the archetypes really is a shadow hunt journey that both enhances the shine of the healthy forms in the archetypes that we all have, which is this stepping into who we truly are and can be, how that manifests as more love for ourselves in our intimate relationships, in the attraction of a life partner or in how we interact in our sexual relationships and how we are with those that we love deeply in our life. And then out in the world, in the world, in the wider world, how we are in our work, in our interactions socially, in our communities. And then even further out, how that is in relation to the divine, in whatever form the divine has for you. It's a very personal thing, you know, the beloved deity of your heart. And there can be more than one deity, of course, because we are not a monotheistic tradition. We are into the multiverse of forms of the divine. And so Goddess has many faces, many facets, and Rhiannon's wheel of initiation, the archetypes, uh, has these facets as well, not only in her eight segments of the year and the ninth being the center, but because we're looking at the shining healthy forms that she brings us the mirror for, but also the shadow forms, the distorted forms of these archetypes that we also all have inside us. So this journey is really a, a deep journey. It's not just a get dressed up and have a lovely time in a circle of sisters, though, of course, that is also part of this training. The whole journey is delicious. We work with the reclaiming of the sovereignty of the self in the body as sacred, in connection to the land as um, sentient. And all of this are forms of goddess, are forms of Rhiannon. So if you drop into what love is and what love would do as the guiding question for this journey, I would say what love would do in this time is to sign up for this amazing training because more of us are needed in the world who really can hold that flame of her presence, be her illuminating love in action in the world today. So if you feel drawn to the path of the sacred sexual priestess of love, 
and come and join the in-person trainings that are starting at the end of October in Glastonbury Avalon. So if you feel drawn to a healthy way of working in sisterhood, this is a very, very good place to start. You do not have to initiate as a priestess of Rhiannon. You can have the journey of this training, certainly the first year as a healing journey. The initiation into really stepping into the priestess, her priestess, dedicating yourself to her in whatever form that is for you within a ceremonial space that is witnessed, is not till the end of the second spiral training, which in England is after the second year, as in calendar years, but in Italy is in three years time. So, um, because the first year in Italy runs over two calendar years. So that we have space to really connect to these archetypes and drop into the practices, because the training involves a fair amount of home joy, where you get to actually practice what you learn in the training weekends and enhance that connection, your personal connection to Goddess, especially as Rian Nipona in her form of Rian Nipona. So I hope you will come and join me in this exciting, delicious, wonderful, transformational, life-changing training. And I hope to see your application forms through the various websites that will be um, put in as text on this little video. So I'm sending you love from the beautiful Goddess Temple in Torino, and I hope to see you soon.